Hello everyone. Namaste. Koshe as to to me sakale joli. Jona jo paiya. And if you like our videos, you know what to do. Like KJ, share KJ, follow KJ, subscribe KJ. And also like Kurai, share Kurai, follow Kurai, subscribe Kurai. Hi guys. Me and my mom are going to cook lunch and we're going to make chonya rosso. Let's go. Yes guys, today we're going to make chonya rosso and I make it pure vegetarian style. I don't put any onion, ginger, garlic. So that's the way I'll be making it today. I also will be adding potatoes. So if you guys like to watch, join us. All right guys, so Partish is gonna be helping me. So I'm gonna give him everything and he's gonna be putting it inside. We're gonna start off with dry roasting. Um, as you guys know, dry roasting the whole spices brings up the flavor and then we'll grind them along with the coconut. So right now we're gonna put in two teaspoons of coriander seeds. Okay, good job. We're gonna put in three cloves and three round chilies. Six peppercorns. Let's put the peppercorns in now. And then now we'll start dry roasting. Dry roasting. Yep, here you wanna do it? Just put them around like this. Yeah, just don't touch the pan. Now I also have fennel seeds that I'll be adding, but you want to add those halfway through the process so these don't burn. They cook faster. So we'll add those halfway through the process of roasting the first whole spices. Okay. So guys, I'm mixing. Look at me. <laughs> mixing. Alright guys. So, so now, now we're going to add the fennel seeds. <laughs> what he says, we're going to add the fennel seeds. It's one teaspoon. Just don't add the tamarind. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, just put your finger like that and pour it inside. Okay, put it inside like that. Don't feel the pepper. Good job. And now we'll roast those for a little bit. Roast those. And then we will take them out and we will start roasting the coconut. Sorry guys, I'm trying to include him, so I'm like stooping down at his level. <laughs> so bear with me. Things are not as smooth as usual, but my little baby wanted to help. So I'm letting him help me. Help me. I don't know if you can hear it crackling. It's time to take them out. Alright guys, so I have set them aside in a dish so they can cool. Now we're going to add the a coconut. half of a grated coconut. This. Don't touch the pan. Just put that in there. Here. Okay, and now we'll just roast that until it's golden. Alright guys, so it's nicely golden and roasted. We're going to turn this off. Put it in a plate and let it cool. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put all the whole spices inside. I'm gonna add that tamarind bowl. I'm going to add the half of a coconut and one teaspoon, one teaspoon of turmeric powder. And then we'll grind. All right guys, the rose has grinded and now we're gonna start on the next part of the process. In this part, you are going to add a tablespoon of ghee. Yes. Pan. I like to heat up the spoon <laughs> and get the rest of the ghee to fall off, um, just so no wasting, right? No wasting in India. People in India, they never waste food. It's not good to waste. So we'll let that heat up and then we'll do the next part of the process. Alright, so our pan is heated. I'm going to add a teaspoon of mustard seeds, yes. a half of a teaspoon of cumin seeds, Hear that popping? A sprinkle of heat and about 10 curry leaves. Yeah. Pop on the lid. I like to give it a little <laughs> swish around and let it pop for a little. All right, guys, so that's finished. I'm gonna go ahead and add my already cooked white peas. I soaked them overnight and cooked them this morning in the pressure cooker. Three fourths of a cup with two cups of water a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of turmeric. <sighs> the ghee is so yummy. I love the smell. It's gonna taste so good. At this time, I'll go ahead and add my chopped potatoes. Or bolt Good, <laughs> that's how people say, it's potato. It is. 
Give it a quick stir. Turn the heat down. Pop on the lid. I like to let it cook for about five minutes or so, and then we'll add the gravy. All right, guys, so that's cooked long enough to let those potatoes kind of cook a little bit. Now we're gonna add in our gravy. Try to get out as much as you can yes. into the pot. And then we'll add- Yes, because some of the blades block it. Yeah, the blades block it, right? So we gotta add about a half of a cup of water inside. Yes. Can I do that? And then we'll pour that in here. All right, so I added the half of a cup. We're gonna go ahead and pour that inside. Go, buddy. I'll help you. Get up there. <laughs> He's backing up. He's like, uh-uh. You're smart, honey. At least you know. Okay, give it a quick stir. Go, start. Are you scared? Wow, good job. Okay. Now put down. We'll add a little bit of salt at this time, just so the salt will go inside the food when it's cooking. I'll add about a half of a teaspoon right now, and we'll check later on to see if it needs more. Give it a quick stir. And then give it a little taste. See if it needs more salt. Yeah, also at this time, I do like to give it a quick taste. Reason why is because um, sometimes when you have small ones, it can be hot with the red chilies, so I'll add a little bit of joggery to kind of balance the heat for them. So I will give it a quick taste. Can I give it a little taste? And I will add a little joggery. You wanna taste it? Yes. I'll go ahead and get the joggery in. All right guys, so I'm gonna add a little bit of joggery. This is optional. I'm just adding it because it is a little bit spicy and my kids will be like, mom, it's too hot, I don't wanna eat it. <laughs> Hartish is really good about eating it. Anything spicy, he doesn't mind, but the baby, as you know, he's a baby, so some things are too hot for him. So, oh, then why can he eat it? And I'm just eyeballing this. There is no ratio that I'm using. It is optional. Um, I'm just putting a little bit in for the baby. And then we'll give that a quick stir, pop on the lid, and let it cook. Alright guys, so it is finished. Um, we're going to give it a nice quick stir. And then we're going to add in our coriander leaves. Right, Bobby? Yeah. You want to add them? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. With your hand. No, right here, baby. Just pour them down in there. <laughs> He's very careful not to burn himself. Good boy, right? Yeah, I'm very careful not to burn himself. Okay, now we'll give it the quick stir again. Can I do it? Here, stir it. Go ahead. This is my baby. No, he's my shiny. You gotta stir it so you can see it. Yeah. Like so tasty, no? So now she's going to put it in a little plate and taste it. No, I'm not going to taste it, but I am going to show you guys what it looks like because I know inside the pot you can't see so well. So I'm going to just show you a little bit. Look at that. Nice, yummy chaneros with potato. At oh, this time, oh, we'll go ahead bubbles. and turn off the um, stove, pop on the lid, lid, pop on the lid, <laughs> and move it to the back of the burner. All right, guys, that concludes our video. I hope you had enjoyed me and Hartesh cooking chanieros and the Purukuru. And if you like our videos, you know what to do. Like KJ, share KJ, follow KJ, subscribe KJ. And also, like Kurai, share Kurai, follow Kurai, subscribe Kurai. Thank you guys for watching. Bye! Bye.